they forecast snow and uh, just arrived out from a friend's house and uh, I'm straight in here and a bit cold so I thought why is the fires is um is going I thought um do a recording and <laughs> talk about something I don't know but um what I've been feeling today has been very emotional and get these waves of emotion of 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 loneliness or of um of uh, aspects of myself and which I need to improve on which is very important we're always improving ourselves and, and growing and expanding which I keep saying it's so important it's like um it's like a balloon have I got any balloons yeah this is why I got some balloons earlier okay so I'm just gonna go with it so what colour am I feeling like today um let's do green shall we okay so when you first get a balloon <laughs> Uh, this isn't a video of how to blow up a balloon, by the way. This is it's all a metaphor of, of your human spirit, okay? So let's say that this is this is your soul, okay? And um, it's waiting to be exercised, okay? Um, you know, you try too hard, okay? And not easy okay oh yeah it's not easy you can just about get a little bit of breath in there but if you exercise your spirit okay if you go you know either way you go up and you go down you go up and you go down you go right and you go left or right and left whatever all over the place you're exercising and you're expanding okay and then it's easier to expand. So, there we are. That's your consciousness. And sometimes we feel so much like this that sometimes we get a bit low and we inflate. Still going. <laughs> so now we're quite a uh, really back to the balloon again. You know, we feel nothingness. You know, inside we feel empty. That's not because we haven't got any energy inside us. Right? Um, you know, like like air. We have the energy inside us, but it depends who blows us up. As a balloon, the balloon cannot blow itself up, but it needs someone else to blow it up for them. Someone who gives them energy. Someone who gives them um, inspiration. There's many people like that around the world. Everyone everyone does it. I do it. You you see sort of idols and you don't idolise them, but you look at, them, look at those people and you think, yeah, I'd like to be like them one day. Or, wow, wish I could be like that. When, when you're wishing, you're putting it out there to the universe, or that's who you want to be. And I'm just open here, because I know that everyone is like that. You know, even the greatest people in the world that you meet, you know, famous people, and you think, oh, they're brilliant, but they've got idols too. I'm sure they have, or they've got people they envy. Um, there's probably out, people out there, maybe you guys watching this video now, who don't agree, but it's just the stuff I'm talking about. You know, stuff I get channeled, or stuff I feel like I, I'm in the mood for talking about. It's all motion, emotional construct. It's um, it's the building blocks of, of our human, human being, really. You know, we're, we're, we're human being. We are human because physically that's who we are. That's who we recognise our spirit. And as a spirit, a spirit is everything. Consciousness is everything. It's only when it's in a physical state, a physical body, that you are anchored down in such a being that, you know, you are sort of almost less oneness with everything. 
because you are so physically um, anesthetized, is that, is that the word? You are sort of in a state of, of physical bliss, <laughs> you know? You're not like, wow, you're not like out here everywhere, you're just like here, solid, you can feel your being, you know? Uh, but your energy animates from your physical being. And um, all around us all the time is just clouds. Clouds of of um, barriers and clouded vision. You know, everything is just really unclear until you give it energy, until you give it focus. Um, it's like that old saying, I don't know if you heard it before, but like... <laughs> um, can if a tree falls down in in some woods or a jungle for example can anything hear that sound you know if someone was there could they can hear it they can hear the tree fall and and make a big um thud noise and a, and a crashing up against the leaves and, and everything like that but if no one was there to hear it would the sound be there and really what, is it? what am I talking about? I think I've, I've lost it. Sorry. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go over this thing. So, a tree falls down in some woods or a jungle, and um, if you're there, you can hear this thud and the sound of leaves crashing to the floor, scattering everywhere. But if no one was there, could the sound be heard? Now, it's pretty much the same as a radio station. Um, it's broadcasted everywhere. Depends if you have the device to listen to it. It's just a radio radio wave, that's all sound is, it's just waves of vibrations and frequency. So if no one was there to hear the tree fall, then it cannot be heard because it's emitting frequencies, it's emitting vibrations of, of noise all the time. So, there we go. Theory of a balloon. That video didn't make any sense at all, I don't think. So, I'm going to do another one, I think. <laughs>